it, it goes without saying the way Marquette was playing, we were scared to death of this game. Um, I thought their level of confidence and intensity was at a different place than when we played them on New Year's Eve. Uh, and for that reason, I thought the start of the game was really important. And we got loose in transition a few times for some threes and uh, were able to knock some down. <clears throat> and in a half where they did a good job of making Doug's touches tough, uh, we were able to use some other guys. Doug was able to pass out of double teams uh, for open threes. And then, uh, you know, we were able to get Doug on the move a little bit more the second half. So it's a great win for our program. Uh, obviously, we're trying to win a championship, and you know, it's really hard to win on the road in this league. So for us to come in here and get a victory, we're thrilled. Question. <clears throat> It was probably the most difficult in quite some time, but by doing that, a guy like Ethan Roggy is going to get looks. So uh, when they're on the same side of the floor, you really have a choice. Either either you're a little looser on Roggy and make Doug's catch tougher, uh, and if you do that, Ethan's probably going to get a look. And, and we were able to find him several times that first half, and uh, you know he's uh, he's an important part of our team. So <clears throat> we've got a lot of other guys that can play. But obviously, a lot of what we do goes through Doug's hands. And you know, any coach in the country, even if you're not his dad, uh, would make sure he gets plenty of touches. It seems like he finds uh, something in terms of making adjustments in the second half, and not just having him on the perimeter, but making him yell at cut, and cutting to the basket, getting Wilson in trouble. Then they kind of, because of foul trouble, had to go to their guard. How much did that affect what he was able to do? Well, they were switching some screens, and and. And I thought the first half, Doug was content with posting those guards at 15 feet. Uh, and as a result of that, their help is a little closer. Uh, so we talked at halftime about deeper post-ups versus their guards. And the way the game was called tonight, there was a lot of fouls called with physical play in the post. So you know, we told them to go down there and, and uh, you know, fight, get in the fight. And we thought we'd be able to get to the free throw line as a result of that. And obviously, there's a lot of fouls called. Uh, I'm not sure we've had. Uh, 30 fouls called on us in my four years at Creighton. It was just one of those games where it was physical and they tried to control it. Obviously, two teams playing pretty hard. <clears throat> you know, very satisfied to come in here and, and stay even with them on the boards. Uh, obviously, offensive rebounding wasn't something I was too concerned about tonight. We wanted to get our transition defense set because I think Marquette's very dangerous in that regard. Uh, and for the most part, our, our guys battled. And uh, we're, we're undersized, but we, you know, we don't lack heart. <clears throat> it was great, because Ethan's, Ethan's remained patient. Uh, teams have done a lot of things to take him away. And his teammates have been recipients of, of the fact that they're, they're standing so close to Ethan. Now we're getting some guys open for threes. We're getting Doug open in the post and on curls. Uh, and he just stayed with it, kept working in practice. And, and you know, we, we're, we've, we're fortunate to have a, a group of guys that don't really care about their own stats. <clears throat> they care about winning. And uh, if we can continue to do that, I like our chances. <clears throat> you know, we needed Devin tonight. Uh, you know, and I thought the combination of he and Zierd in the first half, uh, you know, we were able to hang in there without Austin and actually make some strides. And, uh, you know, Devin's such a good rebounder from that guard position. And, you know, there's no better way to start your transition offense than with a, with a defensive rebound by your point guard. And Devin made some great decisions, uh, got to the basket some and scored. And, and uh, you know, when our, when our point guard was out on the floor for us a lot, was in that kind of foul trouble, uh, we really needed our bench tonight. Probably not during the game. Uh, I've I've forced myself this year because I probably haven't hadn't done a good enough job of it the first three years I coached him, of you know really taking a step back and 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 appreciating some of the things that he's accomplished as my son. Uh, and I vowed this year that I'd do a better job of that. He made the decision to come back, uh, which was a difficult decision for him. 
but when he made that decision, it, it was like a bonus year for his dad to have the opportunity to coach him one more time. So uh, I vowed to myself that, you know, I told Doug when he made that decision, if you're going to come back, uh, number one, we need to get better if you're going to make that decision. And number two, you have to enjoy it. And as I told him that he needed to enjoy it, he reminded me that I needed to enjoy it as well. So uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. And obviously, I'm very proud of, of what he's done on the court and the way he's handled himself off the floor. You ever catch yourself kind of going, damn, nice. Yeah, 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 I have a few times. And uh, <clears throat> he, he's worked really hard. It's, it's been very rewarding to see. Uh, you know, sometimes people work really hard, and, and maybe they don't uh, get the results as quickly as they like. And, and Doug has really stayed with it. Um, you know, from a guy that wasn't a starter in his high school team as a junior in high school to someone that's going to be a three-time All-American. There's a lot of work that goes into that, and uh, and I'm proud of that work ethic and the way he stayed with it. Yeah, we have tremendous respect for Marquette. Obviously, they're... Uh, their tradition of success speaks for itself. And, uh, you know, we aspire to be what they have been in this league for a number of years, and it's, it's not easy. Uh, and, you know, so for us to get a couple victories over them, is, it's great for this senior class, uh, but it's great because of the respect we have for them, uh, not, not because of the way they play or anything like that. It's just uh, they've been a good team. They've been to a lot of sweet 16s. They're very well coached. Uh, they play with toughness. And for us to, to find a way to gut out a couple wins against a physical team is a feather in the cap for our program. Two more. What do you think Marquette's like that? <clears throat> well, they just keep coming at you, and, and they, don't, they don't quit. Um, and we were worried about Jamil and the way that he was playing. Uh, and, you know, Todd seems like if he gets off to a great start, it's hard to stop. So. That along with Jake and making sure he didn't get clean looks early was, you know, those those guys along with Devonte inside were playing at a really high level. Uh, so they've got a lot of pieces, uh, and uh, uh, you know, obviously they've won three games in a row and are playing really good basketball. But this is a physical team. This is a disciplined team. Uh, we just were fortunate to make some shots tonight. It's really hard to believe, you know. It's really surreal, uh, and you know, obviously, it's uh, Larry Bird was playing when I was growing up. Uh, when I was in high school, he was playing in college, and then I followed his NBA career. So to have your son mentioned in the same sentence as Larry Bird is hard to fathom sometimes. But it's uh, it's it's been really a neat experience uh, for our family. Uh, and as I said, it's it's one thing. Uh, to see what Doug's accomplished on the floor, but the way he's handled his success with humility is probably something we're even more proud of.